Hey, welcome back everyone to Breaking Audio. My name's Adam Claremont. Happy to see you again. Uh, today, I want to dive into a video about audio restoration. You ever get something from somebody and it's like kind of glitchy or stuttery and you don't really know what to do? Recording again is not an option. Well, I'm going to help you out with that. But before we begin, if those are the kinds of videos you like, tips and things like that, how to make your audio better, your job more valuable to your clients, then hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because those are the types of videos that we'll be giving you every single week. So let's dive in. All right. So what I've got here today is some audio from a client uh, that was recorded off of Zoom. Um, they were recording a webinar and they sent this over to us with really a big problem. Check this out. We're committed to making the process as easy as possible, keeping you updated on guidance from the SBA and the Treasury. To Hear those pops? Honestly, I don't even know what those pops are. Um, it sort of sounds like a plosive, but it's not. It sort of sounds like clipping, but it's not. Some, I don't know, something was screwed up with this person's laptop, I believe. But regardless, um, this was like a three or four minute long webinar this person recorded, uh, kind of important. Couldn't re-record, like I mentioned. So what do you do? Well. I opened up RX, uh, Isotope, um, and I used uh, Spectral Repair. Um, you can get Spectral Repair with the standard version of RX from Isotope. You'll have to go to the website for the current prices. I think right now it's about 400 bucks. They're on RX-7 right now. I'm using RX-6, but it's the same thing, really. So that's um, what I was given, and this is what I got it to. We're committed to making the process as easy as possible keeping you updated on guidance from the SBA and the Treasury Department. So not so bad, right? So let's uh, deconstruct that. So first, uh, select the audio, and we go up in Audio Suite down to Isotope. Go to Isotope uh, RX6 Connect. That will send the audio into RX. Hit send. And there we are, we're opening up Isotope. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is a histogram. This is showing frequency and amplitude as basically uh, displayed by color. Brighter the color, the louder or the greater the amplitude. So what's cool is like you can see visually where these pops are. See that? Making the process. Bam. Yes. Bam. So you can see it's not the full frequency spectrum, right? So because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and grab this tool here. And now I can sort of choose what uh, I'm grabbing, whereas like this vertical tool is full frequency spectrum, right? Don't need it. So I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can. I'm just gonna grab this right here. And then I go over to spectral repair and what I'm gonna do is replace. And what it kind of does is just sort of like analyzes the audio around it and it replaces the selection with whatever it deems to make sense. I don't know what they're doing. Ask guys dope. It's amazing. Those guys make the most amazing tools. I don't really need to know exactly how it works, but I'm glad to know that it does. To making the process, committed to making the process. There we go. That was gone. See, so I'll hop over here again, grab it real quick. Process, cool. Zoom out. Process is e looking awesome. So we're gonna zoom out and we can see again. As easy as possible, keeping you updated on right here. Updated. On you updated. Yeah, right here. Grab you. I think there's like two or three more, right? What else we got? This looks like one. The SBA and Yep. See how easy it is to see? It's so cool. Process. It's from the SBA and the Treasury Department. Did I get them all? It's from the SBA and the Treasury Department. Yep. And then the last thing you're gonna do is uh, Command A selects everything. You're gonna send it back. Render. And there we go. So let's hear it. We're committed to making the process as easy as possible, keeping you updated on guidance from the SBA and the Treasury Department. And where it was. We're committed to making the process as yeah, easy. There you go. You know, so that's a pretty cool trick as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that basically, you know, our client came to us with a problem, solved it. You know, <laughs> that's kind of what it's all about. So I've got one more uh, example to show you. Let's dive into that. Okay, so this example, actually this whole video uh, was sort of inspired by uh, an Instagram post I saw by uh, Kato Zane. 
Uh, you can check out Kato on Instagram at Kato Zane. Um, she's got some awesome YouTube videos as well. Check her out on your YouTube channel. But she was mentioning that she got this audio from somebody where there is basically like time omitted. You know, it was just stuttery. And I don't know if this is exactly the problem, but what I've noticed and I think what's happening here, uh, this is a podcast that I work on and the hosts have USB microphones. And I think what I've noticed is that when you hold or handle a USB microphone, something about that connection, it's not happy. It's not the same as like an XLR. And I notice after that handling quite often, I wouldn't say quite often, but often enough, there's this stuttery, glitchy sound, which is like this. Check this out. <laughs> okay, so enough about chicken. I don't want David to go on. Uh, what about the coating, right? Do you brine it first? Do you flour it? Do you batter it? What yeah, so you hear all that? Like, it's stuttery, right? So, once again, if it's a situation where it can't be re-recorded, I go to Isotope. So, uh, Kato, if you're watching, you can check this out and... Uh, might help you. Um, I know you'd mentioned actually on that post that you'd rather fix it at the source. So maybe check out those USB mics too. So um, we're going to send this back into Isotope. And I'll show you what this looks like because this looks different than the one I showed you previously. Okay, so enough about chicken. I don't want David to go on. All right, so first our pop is running here. I don't want David to chicken. I don't want David. Yeah, right there. You can see it. See, so now this one, again, looks different, right? So this is full frequency spectrum. So I'm going to grab this tool, just grab what I need, hit process. And I don't want David to go on. Uh, what about the? And I'm happy with that. Uh, what about? And there's another one. Grab this. There's some other issues here too that I'm not going to get into. You know, there's like mouth clicks and stuff like that, but we're not going to deal with that. Maybe another video. I'll show you all that. On. Uh, what about the coding? Right here. Coding. Kind of funny. So we hit it, and you see how quick it is. I mean, it's not the most perfect thing in the world, but it's pretty amazing how good it can get. Coding, right? Do you brine it first? Do you? And now this is what I'm talking about. That stuttery stuff. Oh, I missed one over here. Look at this. Now that's lost audio, right? But check this out. Boom. You brine it. Missed one over here. Or did I? Uh, let's back up. Coding, right? Do you brine it first? Do you fly? Yeah, there it is. So I think this is probably what Kato was seeing. It just literally just dropped audio. And I don't know why the US mics. USB mics do this, but I'll tell you too, I've seen it done with several microphones, several USB microphones. You know, one of the most popular ones out there is the Audio Technica 2100. It's like a hundred bucks and it's, it's really good for the, it's, I think it's good for the price. It sounds fine. Um, uh, it does this. Um, the Rode Podcaster, that's pretty nice, you know, and that's like, I think 250 bucks or so still. If you handle it for whatever reason, it can freak out and start doing this on you. So let's take a listen. Okay, so enough about chicken. I don't want David to go on. Uh, what about the coating, right? Do you brine it first? Do you flour it? Do you batter it? What's the... Batter it? What's... I missed one. Batter it? Yeah, this is a little funky in there. But you get the idea. So we hit Apple A, select it all, send it back. Hit Render. Um, you can see um, that's our file now. And let's listen, listen again. Get that visual out of my mind. <laughs> okay, so enough about chicken. I don't want David to go on. Uh, what about the coding, right? Do you brine it first? Do you flour it? Do you batter it? So let's listen again. Flour it? Do you batter it? And what it was. First, do you flour it? Do you batter it? You hear that? I mean, it was, it was so glitchy. And then it came back. With, I mean, how much time did that take me? Like a minute or two. Um, and that was while explaining it. So um, get yourself some Isotope RX standard and use spectral repair for those things. Don't just say, we got to re-record it. Hey, I mean, honestly, if you got if you can re-record it, <laughs> re-record it. But, um, you know, if you're in those situations like I was, you know, you don't have the option. It's an awesome way to fix it and impress the hell out of your clients, let me tell you. 
So uh, that's all I have for you today, though. Really appreciate you checking this out. Hope you check out some of our other videos as well. And again, like if you like Pro Tools, you like Ableton tips, you know, every week we've got uh, another thing for you. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when they're available. All right, I'm Adam Claremont for Breaking Audio. See you next time.